Tonight we continue our year-long series on the final senior class to attend Bob Reeves High School, the class of 94. This week our focus shifts to an event which happens often in the military community, the transfer of a family in the middle of a school year. The Piva family spent 11 years on ADAC. Thursday, with a few months prior notice, they left. Their departure represents about as typical a scene as you'll see in a community like ours made up of military families and Department of Defense employees and their families. And for the most part, it is a lifestyle that agrees with us, one we've come to accept. Students we spoke with, kids like Jackie Henderson, who is attending her 10th school, speak matter-of-factly about the constant moving about. It's happy. It was the use of I do. You really get sad when you leave. You get sad and you just leave. Different. Consider that. Eight high schools, eight sets of teachers, eight attempts to fit in, eight best friends. Well, it's tough because, you know, you open yourself up and that person knows you and you know that person. And then when you leave, it's like leaving a part of you behind. And, and you just got to say, okay, like, you know, we had a good time, but now it's time to move on and not dwell on it to go and find a, another best friend. Robin and Michelle Piva have seen hundreds of friends leave ADAC, moving on to different duty stations and different schools. But after 11 years, it was a little difficult to imagine leaving themselves, especially in the middle of Robin's senior year. Admittedly, there have been times she has wished she were somewhere else. But Wednesday afternoon, with less than 24 hours left here, ADAC looked pretty good. This past year has been, like, really different for me because, I mean, I've gotten so close to so many people, and it's my senior year. It's just, it's different, and... I don't think, just, you never know how much you, you do, this, how much this place grows in you until you leave, or until you're fixing to go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be difficult for them for a while. I, I try to repair them in the best way I can, and um, it's going to be hard. And what awaits Robin and Michelle when they arrive in Indian Head, Maryland? Will it be difficult to adjust and make friends again? Based on his own experiences, close friend and classmate Ron Mills said he has found it much easier to be outgoing to try to make new friends. I think it's better to, you know, if you have friends, you should keep them to the very end, not drop them, because that's not really fun to do. When you first came to the school, what did you do when you first came to the school? Were you outgoing? Did you make a time to back and make a new friend? I kind of kicked back. I never really had a problem with making friends. I Thank goodness, you know, because I mean, I've been a lot of places and uh, I've had to make a lot of friends, but uh, I've never really had a problem. I just kind of kick back and uh, I'll, I'll approach people, but uh, usually I just kick back and watch what's going on. What about your friends? Yes, it really has, because I mean, the friends I have up here, I know I'll never have, you know, better friends than what they are, because they're really, you know, they're really good friends. We're really close, but you know, they're like all one, you know, they're like family to us. Because they, you know, a lot of them have been a part of us for a while, so it's really going to be difficult. What's it going to be like for you personally? Going to be it's going to be, it's going to be bad. I can, because I mean, we're just, my sister and I are so close to everybody in the school. Because we've been here so long, we've seen them come there. I mean, or we've grown up with them. I mean, there isn't really any new people from this year. So I mean, we pretty much know everybody at that school. There's going to be quite a few people. I mean, it's going to be bad. I mean, hard, you know, to take a time. But,